Good morning, folks. And this is uh, the cold and wintry Barbados. This is me walking and not exercising and <laughs> groping in my pocket for I'm going to show you. So the whole purpose of this video is to tell you about my findings testing this, the Wahoo Ticker X. So again, Wahoo Ticker X heart rate monitor. So this is it. So testing it around the lanes of Darbados and also in the Gaijin on the bike. So we're going to make some assumptions here. One is you understand the benefits of heart rate meter training and two is um, you're going to use it for cycling or running. What the Wahoo Ticker X does for cycling is record cycling dynamics, for example, cadence and for uh, running, I'll show you what it records in a little while. It isn't just a heart rate monitor. It does record some running dynamic using, as you've probably picked up before, Barefoot Science insoles. Uh, I used to be an okay runner, uh, and now I'm not an amazing runner. I just do it now and again uh, for core strength and also for bone density, really. And also, I do enjoy it. Let's face it, you go for a run, it's pretty simple, isn't it? Put your trainers on optional socks, shorts and a t-shirt, go for a run, job done, not much faffing around. Um, and other than time, you know, there's not a lot else to tell you. However, when you've been a sub three marathon runner on a relatively regular basis, and uh, you run nowadays getting older, it's uh, getting back uninjured is probably the biggest goal that is just changing it, change it my direction here. Yeah, when when you when you get older, the biggest success factor on a run, I think, is getting back uninjured, and that was my problem. So I was cycling fit, I wasn't running fit because I'd stopped running really. And when I took up running again, I tend to felt okay running for an hour, but uh, heart and lungs was fine, but my body wasn't, and I kept getting injured. So I scaled it right back. I used the Incus Nova that was telling me my running dynamics and telling me where I was going wrong. Uh, sorry, I'm not keeping eye contact with this. I'm actually trying not to fall over. Anyway, so Incus Nova was great for showing me all that. But the key thing is, you use the Incus Nova and it shows you where you're going wrong. And for example, you take off a landing speed, right, left, balance, body oscillation, all that sort of stuff. It's informing you of all that and showing you, for example, your form is falling to bits at 4k so why the hell am i running further than 4k but how do i improve that well core strength exercise running a little bit more regular doing other exercises around there to balance my body up for example closed eyes one leg marching on the spot all that sort of stuff that uh, if you're a follower of stuart for example from all about balance you'll understand but the big thing is what can make a big difference so i use the barefoot science running insoles um, it's probably a combination of factor, but I think they're a big factor and what it has made, uh, ensured, I think, for me, is that I'm now running relatively regularly without injury. And when I do run without the insoles, I get injured. Now, make of that what you want to. Um, I wouldn't run anymore without them. And you'll see from the videos coming up, I used absolutely dire pair of trainers in my last run when I was testing this Wahoo Ticker X um, and you'll see how, how stable my running is pretty good I'm not the greatest running there they say you know if I do 10k in four, uh, 50 minutes I'm happy which is nowhere near where I used to do it anyway similar one so they say game back now uninjured and enjoying the running most important thing for me being, being informed of for example if your balance is out and your body's rolling I think it's pretty important for running and this is what the ticker X does so we're going to test that and see what, what it shows and I'll you'll see that coming up so I'm rabbiting on a bit here so enough of that and more on for the rest of the video morning and a very happy new year from me bit tilled up on the head this morning very sunny it's new year's day and what a day it's fantastic so starting the day with a 10k 
purpose of today is just hidden under here is the Wahoo ticker. I'm going to test it for running and also I've got the shocks open run on just to see how they're performing. So the audio you can hear at the moment is from these. It's a little bit windy, uh, birds singing in the background, um, nothing else around at the moment. So hopefully the audio is okay. So I'm going to run the 10K, see what the ticker shows, use these for listening to music. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh yeah, well, just this thing I was going to say, going forward this year as well, um, a few goals, get subscribers up over, let's say over 2,000, we're over what, 1,200, and thanks so much for who I subscribe for this and being with us on the journey through James and me and all that sort of stuff with the Italian Geek. But also what frustrated me when I used to read tech reviews years ago, uh, and even more recently, is you see stuff that's literally just turned around. It arrives from a PR company, people have a quick look at it, have a go with it, write up a review, get it out there before anybody else, and that's it. And people will know, especially old curmudgeonly people like me, is when you've been using stuff for a while, you tend to find that the review doesn't reflect the piece of kit. So that's why we hang on to stuff, test it a little bit more rigorously, and get a longer term view. So we so you know, we did the unboxing in the first loop, but this is more about a long term test. So this is long term test on the shocks um, ish. I've had them for over a week now, and also with the Wahoo ticker. And I've got, also got the barefoot insoles in as well, which I've been testing for ages. And I keep meaning to get the review on this, but I just want to make sure the data is absolutely spot on. And I usually use the Incas Nova, which we know independent tests is very accurate arguably more accurate than the stride, but let's see what this thing shows as well. And I can do a bit of a comparison and also tell you what I think uh, these barefoot uh, running insoles are doing, which anecdotally, pretty good. Anyway, off for the run. I'll see you later. Hey, hi, back from the run in the pen cave, still using the shocks for recording. That click probably wasn't helpful, sorry. Um, what are these like on the run, by the way? These shocks, open runs, uh, they're flipping great. The audio is absolutely excellent on it, even with cars streaming about and all that sort of stuff at the side of the road, you can hear music very clearly. I was listening to Apple Music via the Apple Watch. Anyway, yeah, so that's the point. So I was using the Apple Watch Series 6 and getting feedback there, which is really useful. Not having to look at it because it tell me pace every kilometre and all that sort of stuff. And what I didn't mention before this run is last week I went for a run using um, the normal running shoes but without the barefoot science insoles now read into this what you want but i got a hamstring twinge and had to walk home halfway through which wasn't brilliant uh, i've done all the pulse rolling and the stretching and uh, the pilates and the yoga and the this and that and all that sort of stuff and walking and cycling this week uh, wore the barefoot insoles today and I haven't had a twinge it's been absolutely perfect so I haven't run fast say 10k 50 minutes nothing staggering big old get me excuses and all that sort of stuff but what's the Wahoo ticker data like this is the Wahoo Fitness ticker X in close-up normal press studs on the back normal battery entry that you get on heart rate monitors with the flat battery is it small big hands but it is small and it's thin it's very lightweight the strap arrangement i love as you know normally it's a continuous strap with a hoop over it that sometimes is a bit tricky to get on this has the two press studs that click in the back so getting it on and off is very very easy to use i do like this strap i would say it's probably the best strap i've ever used definitely and then just a few more um, images with the stud pressed on to give you an idea of what it's like when you clip it on. Very smooth, you see dead flat. But literally, you run with this thing, you don't know. If you get people saying, oh, they slip about when you run that, they just haven't got the strap tight enough. That's it, simple as that. Always remember, motion in the pads, tighten it up, tight. Morning, grim weather, trial two. Week on, various reasons cycling are in the way of the ticker heart rate monitor or ticker X heart rate monitor test, which is hidden under here because it's very grim. I don't think this camera is really showing just how grim it is. Anyway, it's never too grim for raining. So, uh, no, start again. It's never too grim for running. So, here we go run, test the ticker X, see what the data looks like, and report back. Right and back, the results are in. I did nearly eight miles. It was all recorded. When I say nearly eight miles, it was over seven. It was all recorded. It was slow, it was windy, it was wet. And I had a terrible pair of trainers. Um, enough of that for a, a, another article. Anyway, 
So it recorded it all. It looks like it recorded it all solidly. I'll have a look at the data analytics now. This is the data recorded in the Wahoo Fitness app. Hearing yeah, some strange noises in the back. It's a, a puppy resting against me. So we looked at the work, workout data, shows you my route, shows you my pace. This recorded it using miles. I normally use kilometers, so it's feet and miles and all that sort of stuff. To apologies, uh, people in the advanced world. So you get your normal dynamics, but also it's showing you your balance. So your left right balance, uh, showing elevation. This is a bit of a lumpy run. It is lumpy around here. And what I'm able to do is to scroll through and what you can do is move your finger along on each of these charts and it gives you your metrics for each specific point there. You can see there was two dropouts there in the heart rate data, which I mentioned earlier. And here's my running cadence. Now, remember, all these things are personal to you. So, you know, you might be told, for example, you should be running at a cadence of 180. Well, that's great if you're a pro athlete, but if you're just normal folks like the rest of us, that's different. And it's just being relative to what you do. What I'm really bothered about here is the left-right balance. So I was carrying a slight injury. Uh, as you know, as you get older, you're carrying a few, you know, a few different things, a few aches and pains. So this data is slightly different to the Incus Nova. I will cover this in another video. But what I would say here is it gives me relative stuff. So if you're using the same thing all the time, a bit like cycling, if you're using the same power meter indoors and outdoors, you have the same metrics you're comparing. So it isn't like using one power meter indoors and another power meter outdoors. What I'm using, one heart rate monitor, one place and one heart rate monitor, another. What I'm doing with the ticker X is, for example, using it running all the time and comparing that data. Now, what you can see is even though I'm using a dire pair of trainers, my left-right balance is pretty good. I put that down to a number of things. It's you know, strength and conditioning, and also it's those uh, barefoot science insoles. So I'm pretty happy with all that sort of stuff. Now, what I've just moved on to here, just drop into Strava, is some cycling data. You know, with cycling, there's less jiggling about. And uh, particularly when you're on a turbo train, as you can see there, that was on Zwift. So I've got Zwift RGT and also Virtuo Pro. So I've got three different sources of recording. As you can see, there's no dropouts at all in heart. The Wahoo Ticker X also uses the very latest in connectivity technology. So as you know, it uses AMP Plus and it also uses the very latest Bluetooth. This means you can connect to up to three devices simultaneously. So you could be connected to, for example, to your Wahoo Element Bolt or your Wahoo Element Roam or a Garmin device or your indoor training app or something else. You know, whatever you want to do. You could, for example, be on simultaneously three indoor training apps recording your heart rate. But that's all available to you because this gives you added functionality. Summing up the Wahoo Ticker X is, um, it would help if I showed you the device again wouldn't it that might be a professional video so Wahoo Ticket X it is love the branding on these by the way you know for example if you're a pro athlete running with your shirt open or something everybody can see you're wearing a Wahoo Ticket X which is great I think everybody should take a leaf out of that book but anyway that's something else so Wahoo Ticket X used by pro teams pro athletes all that sort of stuff um, they're a pretty serious outfit as you know but what does it really mean for you using it? Would you buy a ticker over a ticker X? Um, for most people, I think a ticker is all you need or one of its reliable competitors. And that's one of the key things. These things seem to go for a, a very long time. So ticker um, just tells you heart rate, stable. You can use it on your bike, use it if you're training indoors, use it when you're running, other sports, etc. Absolutely great. Ticker X, it's a bit like do you want to be without? It's like one of those things with any tech. A standard smartphone would probably do lots of people, but some of us want the Pro Max XXX latest version, and that's a bit like the Ticker X. It gives you other stuff, plus you might not use, but it's always there. And I think for little running dynamics, for indicative stuff, it's okay. If you want to get really serious about your running dynamics, Incus Nova any day. And I know there are competitors. One thing I didn't do with this uh, device is link it to a running watch, which you can do. And it gives you a dynamics by linking to the running watch as well. So, you know, it does do that. I've just linked it to the Woohoo app. Now, one thing I would say as well is uh, all about watches and stuff like that. 
just a little bit of thing for me because this is part of my journey about being not an injured runner it's all about balance it really is it's a bit about when you're carrying a phone or device keeping your body balanced out and stuff on one side and the other just think about all that sort of stuff can you balance on one leg with your eyes closed for a period of time you know because that is a good indication can you remain balanced when thinking about other stuff that's an important thing and we'll cover this more in a video i did with uh, all about balance and incas up at uh, their labs in loughborough soon but anyway I'm looking down again, trying not to trip. So, um, ticker X for the price, flipping great. Gives you the extra stuff. They have got the ticker if you just want the pure heart rate monitor. Um, in testing on the turbo trainer, you would have seen in cycling, I didn't get any dropouts of heart rate data and running, I got the occasional one. Did it make any difference? No, it, it didn't. I still knew my zones, I still knew where I was, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and that's it. So, Woohoo, got lots of products, you know, they've got stuff for all sorts of things. We've got some other things on uh, test for them at the moment. Um, we also use the Power Labs heart rate monitor, which is very good. Um, but, you know, a similar price to the ticker. So there you go. So other stuff is available, but we all know with the Woohoo, it's a solid brand, warranty, all that sort of stuff. So that's it. Hopefully that was useful for you. Thanks for tuning in. More stuff coming soon. Bye.